Did you know the Porsche 944 is a family car? Well, not really, but mine is. My kids insist on coming with me in this car almost any time I take it anywhere. But let's face it, the seatbelts back in 1986 were, we'll just say minimal, especially if you want to install child seats. So in this video, we're talking about converting the original lap belts to a factory set of three-point seatbelts. Welcome to Red Car Garage. So you can see what we're dealing with here. I've got a booster seat in the front seat right now. Uh, this car doesn't have airbags, so technically this is okay. But I'd rather have them in the back, and also this way, uh, if we can get them in the back, then my wife will be able to ride with us too. So booster seats need a three-point seat belt. You need the shoulder strap. And if you have a 944, you know that they came with these kind of hilarious little retractable uh, lap belts, which I guess are okay, but you can't use these with booster seats. And uh, they're not really that safe anyway, in the, in the best of cases. Um, to get a car seat in here, what I did was I removed these factory seat belts, I just unbolted them right here, and I made a little metal plate with just a hole drilled in it that fits using the original bolt and a hole in it there. And I can use that to clip the latch system on the uh, normal seat, on the normal car seat into that. And uh, you have to kind of wedge a cushion back there to bring it forward enough, but that does work. And then uh, there's a luggage tie down back there for the, the back strap. That's what that clips to. That works pretty good. Um, my little guys really like to ride in the car with me and uh, we have a lot of fun But they're getting bigger and uh, We're gonna need to get them both into booster seats in the back seat So that's why we're gonna be converting this to the three-point seat belts now later 944s Did come in some cases with three-point seat belts in the back There is this bolt here. That's actually just plastic, but that's a, one of the um, one of the anchor points for the shoulder belt and then the retractors went in the back behind the carpet um, from what I understand you need some different brackets welded to the body of the car I couldn't really believe it but you can actually buy the bracket that I need from Porsche uh, right now brand new and it's only about $25 per side so we will need to weld these in and then we have new carpet to go in the back. We're gonna do it right, and it should be just like factory when we're done. So to start, I just pulled the main rear carpet out, and we're gonna have to take these pieces of carpet out as well. I think I need to uh, flip this down to get that out, so I'll probably have to take out that car seat, which is kind of annoying, but that's, uh, that's life, right? And then it looks like the carpet actually wraps all the way down so I may have to take the back here of the of the back seat out to get those out. It's already missing most of the clips on this side. That makes it easier. See what I mean? This is just plastic. Oops. Yeah. We're replacing that. Obviously, with a real bolt. Okay, so seat back is out. That was pretty easy. There's just two 10 millimeter bolts. And then uh, there's a couple more screws here. I have to take that off. And hopefully we don't have to take the bottom seat out. This job is already kind of getting bigger than I expected. So. Anyway, let's keep going. Pull that off. Now this is a little bit loose. Hopefully loose enough. I don't think you can take these off very easily without taking out those windows, and I'm not doing that today. So this is next. 17 millimeter. Okay, and now you can see how these are mounted. There's like a spacer. Probably a lock washer, nope, just a regular washer. And this special nut, or bolt, I mean. That's my bracket for my 
latch system. For the record, I'm showing you what I did, but I'm not telling you that it's a good idea. I believe this part number is for what they say that is the left hand side, which I'm assuming is like, I guess on this car, the driver's side. So I'm not sure that sort of looks right, something like that. Okay, we have to trim back the sound deadening, especially when we go to weld it in. If I can't, uh, just pull it back. I mean, that's, there's a curve on the bottom there. Obviously there's no like installation manual for these things. So I just have to figure it out. I actually asked the guy when I bought them, the the guy at the dealership, and he was like, yeah, no, you're on your own, buddy. Okay, so here's where we're at now. Carpet is removed, back seat is half is disassembled. Now we can get to the hard part. Look at this. I don't think that's right. I'm guessing that's from the sunroof? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, it's old car life, right? Things you find. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I got so far. So I just bolted this retractor onto here. And then this is going to fit in somewhere around there. Like that. Not sure if it goes in front. I'll probably put it behind the bench weld. And then if this is held there, now it actually retracts smoothly. I started taking one of these retractors apart to figure out how it worked, and I saw there's a ball right inside that part that sticks out. And that um, must lock it when the car is, I don't know, jerking around or maybe not level. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, that's how they work. So my plan is to kind of figure out where it needs to go here. Probably leaving space for that bolt, I'm guessing. So that gives us a pretty good idea. I'll just clamp it on there with some vice grips or something, mock it up, make sure everything works, and then we'll weld it in. Okay, so that's mocked up. Just clamped in with a vice grip. Seems to work like perfectly fine. So I don't know what all the fuss is about with uh, getting things lined up. It seems to be pretty simple. Trying to get both done in one day so we can uh, drive the car tonight. Here's where it starts to get scary. So that's what we're left with. I've prepared both sides. So that's gonna go like that. Okay, so that's it. It's clamped in place. It's gonna be hard to weld in there, but I'll do our best. This one will take most of the most of the stress here. So this turned out to be a pretty challenging job to weld, mostly because of how thin the steel is on the car body and the awkward positions I had to use. I got the job done, but honestly the welds turned out a bit uglier than I'd like. I'm confident that they're at least as strong as a factory weld, so they'll keep my kids safe in a car accident, and that's what matters. But if you're thinking about attempting this job, just make sure you're comfortable welding thin steel. If you're not sure, then maybe just skip this one. I also don't really recommend lighting your car on fire, but you do whatever you want. I might paint this later, see how much I care. I probably will, but I probably want to color match it properly. There's some other, there's some other touch-ups to do on this car, so we'll probably get a little spray can and do it all at the same time. Let's do the carpets. So 
this is a new carpet I got from uh, the dismantler. So it's not new, it's new for me, new to this car. It's got this like, new bulge there for the um, seat belt to fit through. That just slips in there. Screw, screw. One bolt there. If we'll come back to that in a few minutes. Just slides in. It's definitely easier without the seat back in place. That looks good. Just need to push in those trim clips around the corner. It's looking nice though. The light's gonna go there. It's the same light. finished. So there you go. Three point seat belts in the back seat of a Porsche 944. Now my little guys can ride back here as much as they like. The car is fully safe and legal so everybody's happy. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you have any questions or concerns feel free to leave a comment got more content coming soon for the 944 like engine tuning, custom exhaust, depowering a steering rack. So the car keeps me pretty busy and uh, I'll make videos going forward on pretty much anything that comes up. It's, it's fun and uh, I like to share with people. So I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button if you're into that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and uh, until next time, see you later.